What's up guys, BMC. We're going into 808s and everything you need to know about them today. How to use them, when to use them, how to figure out the pitch of your 808 so you can make sure that you're staying on key with your actual song. We're gonna cover all that today and more, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so I got a sample loaded up from Nick Mira's kit. I'm gonna show you guys what I do in order to uh, figure out what key my 808 is in and which key the sample is in. <coughs> so let's get right into it. First thing you wanna do, get your 808 and uh, whatever one it is, we'll, we'll use this one for this example. We'll use this one. So get your 808 and open it up, open up this window, click on it. And what you're going to want to do is right click, edit in audio editor. And uh, once you get into here, you're going to look for this little marker. You're going to left click on the marker and you're going to detect pitch regions. Now you see that it's detected a pitch here, right here it says D. So sometimes when you do this to an 808, it will have two different keys. You want to look for the key that is the longest portion in the 808. So sometimes, for example, there will be a marker. Let's just add a marker. There will be a, another marker like right here and it will say A. So it'll be like D and A. Or it's, it's usually a little bit closer. It'll be like D and D sharp, for example. And what you wanna do is you wanna go with the portion that's the longest, which would be all of this. So if this said D sharp here and a D at the beginning, I would change it to D sharp. And the way you change it is you go into that same window. Once you find out what key it is, you go into this window, go to the second tab here, and you're going to change this blue note. You're going to change to whatever key that you got inside the last window. So for me, it's going to be D. So I'm going to right click on D. As you can see, it changed the root note to D. So. As for the sample, there's a lot of different ways that you can figure out the root note of your sample. What I like to do is I like to do it by ear, but a lot of other people don't have the time to do it or don't want to do that. So what I suggest you do is get this uh, program. It's called Melodyne. Let me see if I can find it. Melodyne. And what it does is it allows you to get a WAV file and you can drag the WAV file right into this VST or this program and it will map out exactly which keys are inside of your sample. So you don't have to do any work. You know which keys being played at which point. I'm not gonna do that today for the people who don't wanna waste their time or not waste their time, pay for that because it's not free. Um, we're gonna go ahead and figure out the root note without using anything. What we're gonna use to do this is just a regular FL key so anybody can do it. Right, so what you wanna do is find the note that can be sustained throughout the entire sample. And what I, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that right now. So we're just gonna start on any note. So does that sound good to you? No, it doesn't sound good to me. So we're gonna bring it down. I don't know, we'll start at A. That sounds better. Over here in this area, it doesn't sound that, that good though. So maybe this isn't our root note. That sounds like it's our root note. So what you can do from here, once you find your root note, is you can find other keys that match with your root note. So that sounds pretty dope to me. Let's put 808s there and we'll see how it sounds. All right. 
right, it sounds dope, but the pattern is obviously way too basic. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I structure my 808s a little bit. Usually what I'll do is I'll put my first one obviously on the first beat. Same with this one, we'll stay where it's at, but I'll move this one probably around in this area right here somewhere. make sure the 808 of my sorry the pitch of my 808 is correct is i'll bring it up an octave because it's a lot easier to hear it than when it's down low also another thing let's say you want to pitch your sample now let's go ahead and pitch the sample we're gonna pitch it we'll pitch it down 300 cents now you can tell how much you're pitching it down from the top left corner here. You can see how many cents you're turning down and what cents translates into is semitones. I didn't know this for the longest time. And uh, so what that is, when you bring down the sample 300 cents, we already found the keys here. So now these keys aren't gonna match, right? It sounds weird now. So what you wanna do is just bring this down three keys which is three semitones, 300 cents. I think I'm gonna bring it up one. So I'm gonna go back here and drag this up one. thing that you guys can do to make sure that your kicks are gonna punch through your mix and uh, your 808s aren't gonna cover your kicks is a fruity limiter so highlight all these bars here and you're gonna go into your mixer you're gonna go to number one on your mixer you're gonna right click it you're gonna go to channel routing route select the channel starting from this track it's gonna lay everything out in front of you and then once you got your uh, your kick sorry I didn't even I didn't even make a pattern for the kick yet so a quick way to make a pattern for a kick is once you have your 808s, uh, click this little box where your 808 is, control C, control V on the kick, go into the piano roll and you're gonna do alt K and you're gonna set this to C5 so that every time you hit alt K, it's gonna put everything down to C5, which is what we want. And now my kick is pretty much done. If, if you wanna go in there and change it around, you can, but pretty much done now. So what you're gonna wanna do once you get everything into the mixer, click on your kick, right? Highlight it. And now go over to where your 808 is and click this little arrow right here. It's gonna, what it's gonna do is link these two together. And you're just gonna wanna drag this little knob all the way down. And then we're gonna go into our 808. We're gonna add a fruity limiter. I already did it, so I'm gonna delete this so I can do it over again. Uh, we're gonna add a fruity limiter make sure that it's clicked on compressor and we're gonna change the side chain to one turn these knobs all the way down you can turn the attack up a little bit but usually i like to leave it down and uh the knee 
you can turn that all the way up. And the ratio, you can see in the top left corner what we're gonna leave it at. I'm gonna put it at two to one ratio. That's usually what I use. And then we're gonna play with this threshold knob a little bit to this, until we get something that we like. As you can see, the blue lines here, that's our kick. And those little white lines that are dropping down, that's how much the kick is cutting into our 808. So it's actually pretty much cutting out the 808 and leaving more room for the kick. So you can hear it, it squishes the 808 all the way down. All of the drums that I'm using in here are from my Dimensions drum kit. Go pick it up. I'll leave the link down below. It's completely free. It's on my website. Just go check it out. Support the movement. Yeah, guys, that was a quick little video. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today on 808s. I hope this helps you out. If it did, please comment down below what you guys want to see next. Subscribe, like the video, and peace. Come on.